Well, hello reseller friends. I'm back. This is Sarah and I'm a part-time reseller here on YouTube and a full-time mom. Today is Saturday. I had one sale going out today that I wanted to share with you guys and this item had over 40 likes and sold full price and was my highest sale of the week. And surprisingly, it was a Depop sale. It wasn't on eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari. So, um, by the way, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I share daily videos to hold myself accountable in my reselling business, try to make sure I meet my goals, and I share my process and what I pick up, and most importantly, I feel like what sells. So, the hot item of the week was this L.L. Bean Paisley Tapestry Amerabag Vintage 90s Small Travel Backpack. I picked this up with the Goodwill Outlet for $2.00. It sold full price for $39.99 on Depop. Had not been listed very long. After fees and shipping, I make $35.26 on this item. So that brings my total to the week. I did not make $500. That is my goal. That's all right. I made $299.90 as my gross sales. And the amount that goes back into my bank account this week is $207.79. Oh, and that item was going to Texas, by the way. And then my net profit after cost of goods was $172.66. So, but with that said, surprise, I also have a haul today. Um, my husband got home from work and I'm like, dude, Goodwill's open till 9. You're home at like 6.30. Any chance that I could scoot up there really quick? And he was like, yeah, I have had it. So, and it was a good night at Goodwill. So. Let's go through what I picked up from Goodwill. Okay, first up, I love looking at the dresses. Um, I found this Hot Topic kind of like a uh, celestial print dress. So we're selling for like $25. And I found this. I think this is a women's large. This is a spider like knit jacket in white and it's in really good condition. So even though it's spring and summer right now, I'm going to pick it up. This item was pretty fun. So I don't know. I'm drawn to wild and crazy. So why not a tutu, right? <laughs> But I actually looked up comps on this brand, Ch Chickwish, Chicwish, I don't know. And these were selling again for like 25. This item was half off. I was watching a YouTuber uh, yesterday, and she said to pick up little kimono type things because girls like to throw them over. Their swimsuits and it doesn't really matter what kind or what brand this is the brand on this one that's very pretty so probably another $20 on that I spent like $93 there uh, this is just a pair of casual shorts for myself Next up is a pair of soft surrounding 100% cotton pull-on wide leg pants. You know what, I don't remember looking that one up. Oops. Okay. Alright, apparently maxi denim skirts are like super hot right now. And again, does it matter the brand? Well, I looked up this and they're selling for like 30 or $35. The brand is Paris Blues. And it's this denim maxi with a slit up the front. This felt really high quality. These are selling for like 40 or 50. The brand is Gretchen Scott. And it's this blue and white kind of like stretch dress. If this wouldn't have been half off, I wouldn't have picked it up. This is a collection by Michael Strahan. Anyways, it's a little boy's blazer and it was half off. So 
so it was only like a dollar twenty-five. And these were selling for like $20 or $25. And I thought, well, it is wedding season, so I'll throw that up. And I found some really cute kids items. And the baby toddler stuff is like $2.50. So this is a very cute little jumpsuit. It is an 18 month and it's Tommy Bahama. So my kids clothes I list everywhere plus I put on kid is in. Um, this is a really cute little dress. Their brand is Lydia Jane, which I had never heard of before. But I was like, you know what, I'm in the mood, I like it. This little dress I've had my eye on for a while and I finally was like, just buy it. It's um, Catherine Malandrino Mini. That's this little tulle dress with butterflies, glitter. I don't know, it's just really cute. Next up, this brand sold very quickly for me in larger sizes. This is Logo by Lori Goldstein, and it's this purple button front kind of slouchy cardigan. I'm telling you, I found a lot of stuff last night. Okay, next, I found a men's pair of hiking pants. This is by the brand Prana, and it's in a good size too. Actually, I think I've only found women's Prana before, so hopefully that'll do well. Excuse me. Then I found this really unique shirt. It is a tactical shirt. I'd never heard of this brand and look, looked it up. And it's also a 2XL, so that should help sell it. Probably 25 to 30 on that. Okay, picked up two hats for my local spot, this U.S. Army hat and this John Deere hat. That was new with tags, which that's a whole nother project. I haven't been over to my booth in a while. This I found for my daughter. We're going to a Reds game in a couple of weeks. Actually, we're going on the 25th. And last up, I did find two pairs of shoes, which I don't normally find shoes. These are, ow, my, oh, well, Clark's Somerset, a little ballet flat, and these are small, they're in a size five. But they're in really good condition. Always check the toes right here to see if there's any wear. There was not. And then last up, another pair of shoes. These are men's. These are almost brand new. The brand is Nunbush plus Bloom. I'd never heard of it. Again, looked up comps. 20 to 30 bucks. So, yeah. I think I did pretty good there last night. And I only had to drive 15 minutes to a Goodwill. Normally, like, the good Goodwills are an hour and a half away near the biggest city. Because we live in the middle of nowhere. So, um, I hope everyone had a great week. I've enjoyed filming uh, a little something every day. I think it helps to just break it up. And I'll catch you guys, I guess, on Monday. Hope you have a good weekend. See ya.